I cheer up. Oh. Am I in focus? I didn't even look. I think I am. All right. Let's make that big on the screen. Oh, I can hear myself. Hang on. Let's make that stop. Gosh, it's bad enough that you guys need to listen to me, but when I start hearing myself, that's a bit much. Right. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> and Louise has got the sneezes. Good work. It's a sneezing sort of morning because I had my little sneeze a thon earlier and now you're having a little sneeze a thon. And you're still going. Are you good? Bless you. Oh, excuse me. Wow. Let's edit that bit out. <laughs> For those of you who didn't catch my 7.30 a.m. live Facebook this morning, where not only did I sing to you, because it's Friday, yeah, and Saturday, Sunday, what? And um, <laughs> But then I had a big, massive sneeze that snuck up on me, totally came out of nowhere, and you guys did not need to see or hear any of that, which was just funny as. Anyway, how are we all this morning? There's a few of you watching. Welcome, welcome. The sun makes you sneeze. It does, done it, and it is absolutely beautiful out there at the moment. Not that I'm going to get to see much of it today because I'm going to hang out here with you guys, which is the best. So happy Friday. Um, it is Art by Marlene Day, which is the best. So Art by Marlene Day means it is 15% off for today only with Marlene. So we have got so much on special for today and these discounts will automatically apply at your checkout and that is Friday the 30th of April only. So on nataliemay.com.au. Now, what have we got? What's on special? Let me just give you a bit of a flick through on some of these super cute little journals which are art by Marlene. Um, so this is the little 4x4, four four, 15 sheets, 300 GSM. I have seen so much awesome artwork online using these little journals. These are so very cute. For those of you who are a little bit scared of art journaling, then this might be a good little starter. Um, I was going to crack one of these open and work in today, but I'm not going to do that. Um, this is the A5. So exactly the same paper as that little one that I showed you, which is a 300 GSM, and, and this has got the ring bound. So this is a really nice size journal. I love this size. Um, very, very easy to work in. So they are on special. Then we have got this big boy. Let's crack this open. This is the Rainbow Journal. So for those of you who are obsessed with colour, like I am, says me wearing all black again today, um, this is the Rainbow Journal. So this is a really nice little journal. It has a little note section at the front, so you can write down your notes and stuff. And they are all elastic bound, so all of these little books are removable. So again, here is that super thick 300 GSM. I guessed. Hang on. Is it 300? Of course it's 300. 300 GSM. So it has four pages, four books in here, which are 300 GSM. And they are all removable. So I can take this book out and work on it on my desk. That is all sorts of awesome. So it has four books in it. Love that. And they are also 15% off for today only. I like it just for the band, let's be honest. Um, then this guy here, this is the one that I've been working on. So here are some of the pages that I've created earlier. This is from the Artsy Arabia release that was two releases ago. And for those of you who are part of my... Natalie May scrapbooking creative community 
you will notice that I did a post this morning saying that I have pre-ordered all of the brand spanking new Art by Marlene stuff. It is on the way. Uh, it actually leaves this um, Europe in on the 20th. So that is the official shipping date. And I will be doing a pre-order for that very shortly. So this is a page I did earlier. I think I did this in the last release. I love this page. This has got to be one of my favourites uh, that I have done recently. And then I've got some other ones where I've just had a bit of a play. This is an online class that you can do. Here's something else that I've created. I added a page for this one with some watercolour paper. I did this one in uh, the live Facebook a little while ago. So I think today I might work in this journal. What do you think? Good idea, I say. Let's just pop that back up there. Let's just pop that back up there out the way. What I like about this journal is it is the ring bound. So I can remove the pages. And I wonder if I have pre-gessoed that because that would be splendid about now. I can't, yeah, I reckon I have. Because that, yeah, I have. Go me. And I reckon I've pre-gessoed that one too. Should I do a double page or a single page? Oh, let's just go for a single today. Okay, so I have pre-gessoed this paper because I want it to um, be... Actually, I'm not confident that I have. God, I love that. That gesso must be so good. That's that good Liquitex gesso. I must have because it's got bleed on the other side. Anyway, moving on. What I want to do today is I want to do a quick little art journal page using some, Mar some Marlene products. So I have pulled off the shelf a couple of things. I've pre-cut some of the die cuts from the floral style die cut. So I have a pile here that I've cut out with my Gemini machine. Um, I have also pulled out a couple of stencils, a um, couple of collage paper pads. Uh, let's have a flick through these. So these are the Art by Marlene collage paper pads from the Marlene's World Collection. So I'm just going to do this two at a time because, you know, it's easy. But I love that it's really, really thin paper. And it is perfect to go in your art journals. So there looks like there's two of each in the collection, in the paper. In the paper, in the pad. Um, oh, that's pretty. So there's plenty of gorgeous papers in here. So I think today, so these are on special, 15% off, today only. I think today that we might create our own backgrounds. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, that one's pretty too. All right. Let's create our own background. So I am thinking I want to use something in a neutral tone. I have got some paints here next to me. I've got the new Dilutions Shimmer paints here as well. So I'm going to use, uh, I might use these, but I'm going to add these as elements. Um, Rebecca, you've just said it looks a different colour to the other on screen. Which one does? What looks different, sweaty? Oh, sorry, I'm going to have another sneezing fit. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to talk myself out of it. I'm just going to commit to this. I'm just going to start with some colour on my page. Um, and I'm going to start just laying down a bit of a, a foundation with my catalyst tool while Rebecca answers that question. Sorry, guys, I do have a 20 second delay when I am seeing your comments come up on screen. So uh, if, if I don't answer in the immediate, that would be why. Uh, so that was the turquoise. It looks gesso compared to the other pages I showed. Yep, thank you. That's what I needed you to tell me. Hey there, Julie. Darling, don't watch me while you're driving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woman. All right, now I've got some vibrant turquoise. So just a reminder with your Dilutions paints, 
always give them just a little bit of a shake before you use them just to make sure that they are they are not they haven't settled in storage or anything like that i'm just going to start laying down a bit of a foundation of greens here and i'm going to get in with a little see now i've got that song stuck in my head i would love to have played it this morning but i don't have a license to play a song oh there we go a little bit more in the way of this turquoise and now louise is singing it just popped on into your head so all of my turquoises are different but they are the same i know that sounds weird but you know now i've got a bit of calypso teal no maybe hey there wendy oh hello michelle logan oh the pressure's on to create like michelle no <laughs> nobody creates like michelle michelle's a freaking boss when it comes to creating all right so just getting it on there simple background what that took me next to no time and lots of different shades of teal and i just used my catalyst tool the good thing about using my catalyst tool is it spreads it out nicely and it um dries really quickly so it doesn't take too long to dry at all um and clean happy days look at that and i see that a couple of you overnight bought one of these big white mats so you will love that for your crafting right now i have a couple of no actually i might add some more paint before i do that i was going to add some stenciling but i think i might no i will add some stenciling and i need sponges sponges that'll do do I want green? I might just dry that quickly. Because we're working with acrylic paint, we have the ability to be able to layer up our colours, yeah? So as soon as I dry this off, which won't take very long because I use that catalyst tool. Oh, Michelle, I'm so much funnier in real life, babe. We were talking about this yesterday. <laughs> um, oh, look, it lasts too short to not laugh at yourself, hey? Or just assume that everyone else is laughing with you. One of the two. I'm just going to pop those aside because I can. Mm -hmm. Bit of green. Bit of pink. That one's empty. Oh, they're a bit blocked. Oh, there we go. There's a lot. Let's commit to that. Crikey. Let's just... There we go. There we go. So I just want to get a little bit of, little bit of highlighter pink on here. So I'm just really uh, kissing the paper. I'm not giving it a whole lot of pressure. I'm just swiping the pink over the top. And this is just really highlighting that, um, that background. Because I'm using a contrasting color, it is going, yeah, we, we, we work together beautifully. Look at that. And swipe and wipe. Yes, I go through baby wipes like you would not believe. Righty O. Come on. It's like watching paint dry, really, isn't it? So that's the flat magenta Dina Wakeley paint. I'm gonna crack out the Dilution Shimmer ones in a minute, but I'm gonna do that for highlighting and stenciling. I don't want to, I wanted to lay down a base of flat color first before going on and adding the next color, okay? So, and now I'm gonna add some pops of green and I might do that with the Dilution's Shimmer fresh lime so these babies are all in stock at the moment they sold out last week and then i had them all restocked again 
Um, they are, there's six new colours and then only this week she has, Dilutions have released two new colours, which is the Polished Jade. So that one will be in a shimmer and how good's my memory? Um, maybe, maybe that one will be in a shimmer as well. Or was it? Yeah, I reckon it is. So I reckon she's released Tangerine Dream and Polished Jade in a shimmer. So they have been ordered and will be shipping shortly. So I have ordered a truckload of those to come in. So I love the shimmer. It looks fantastic. Hey, Lou, could you pass me up the, the cards? The, uh, left? No, the, no, loose cards. Those cards. Can, why can't you read my mind this morning? So this is what the shimmer paints look like. I previewed these cards this morning in the live that I did at 7.30. So this is a card kit that I may or may not still have available because I haven't checked the status. I use the shimmer paints in this card kit. So the card kit comes with pre-stamped images and instructions. You need to purchase your own paints and your own stencils. Um, and the optional extra is the die. But can you see how these paints are shimmering um, in the background? Don't. This is done with watercolors, but you kind of get the gist of it. Oh, there you go. You'll be able to see that, like seriously. So, so good. Anyway, love that. So this is the card kit. And that's the black with the green and the aqua. Anyway, so you can see how awesome it is to have those, um, those shimmer paints in your collection. So I've got the fresh lime and I'm just going to pop a little on my palette knife and just kiss it again. Just a little swipe. Now... Why am I putting it where I am? I'm just going for a little bit of balance here. I, I don't have an idea on what this page is even going to look like as a finished product yet. I haven't thought about that. But I'm just creating a, a visual background, something that I can then work on. But it still needs to be visually pleasing. So I'm kind of just getting it on there. There we go. A little bit thicker in a couple of spots. So that pink's underneath with the turquoise. Now, what has made this work, and I haven't muddied it up, it's because the pink was dry. So normally if I was to mix pink and green together, I would make a lovely shade of brown because those colours are opposite on the colour wheel. So it's not going to work. But what I do want to do is dry it before I do whatever's going to happen next. So it's actually quite vibrant on, uh, it's not as vibrant on camera as it is here. It's a bit dull, but that's okay. It's, it's rocking my world. Okay, dry enough for me. So let's add a little stenciling. So I have a couple of Art by Marlene stencils here. I've got this guy and I've got this guy and I think I might just use this one because because I can and get it out pack it right so now I just want to add some color over the top do I think it goes that way yeah so I might use the Calypso Teal. So a bit of a tip with the shimmer paints from, Di um, from Dilutions. They are all quite fluid with the exception of the orange and the red. And you can tell that it's um, separated from the bottom. It is a chunkier paint. I got in touch with the uh, manufacturers, manufacturers and questioned it because it isn't as fluid as the others. And apparently that's the way it's supposed to be. So if you buy them from me and you think, oh, it's gross and it's gluggy, well, that's the way that it's supposed to be. So that is what I have been told. But they all need a shake. They all need a little love. 
And what I want to do now is I want to use my blending tool with the sponge on it and I'm going to add some colour. So I'm just using um, the Ranger blending tool. I've got a uh, replacement sponge on it and I'm just going to lightly get some colour over the top here. So because they are a shimmer and they are a metallic i guess they are not a solid color either so i'm going to see some of that other color come underneath um yeah elizabeth i agree hey michelle you've have you used um you've used these paints are yours chunky as well or is it just did i i mean i know i asked them and they said it was a um uh, it was supposed to be like that but yeah i've every time i've ordered them Yes, Rebecca, you can wash the blending sponges. This is the blending sponge that I used yesterday, in fact. So you can see that I've just added a little bit of lapis, a little bit of the darker, deeper blue to my shimmer. I want to, um, I just wanted to give it a little bit of depth. Um, and now I'm going to just do a little over here keeping it in the same place-ish. So really, I've just kind of created a, um, a new colour going on here with this lapis and the, what did I say that colour was? Calypso Teal Shimmer Paint. Just needs a little of the depth behind it. You haven't used the shimmer stuff. It's really, really nice. I didn't think I needed it in my life and I wasn't going to open them when they came in. I'm just, I was just doing that whole, no, Natalie, no, Natalie, you already own all the paints in the world. You don't need any more. <sighs> and then I did. You know how it goes. You think you need it and, and then you kind of don't know how you did without it. Oh, <laughs> Yes. All right. So now I'm going to do some down in this bottom corner and I'm going to line up and I'm going to come down in this section here. So I'm going to start with that color there and then I'm going to get that in there. And I'm just tapping it. As you can see, I'm not going like super fancy fancy. I'm not doing anything technical. It's not brain surgery. I'm just being a little bit delicate with it and I'm balancing out my colors. I'm not covering everything. You can see that I'm not covering everything. Let me throw that in some water. Hang five. Chat amongst yourselves. Bring it up to camera so you can see that shine. You can see those layers. Yeah, baby. <laughs> see, now I'm singing that song. All right. So, yes, I would throw that in water, but I haven't decided if I'm finished with it yet. Um, in fact, I'm not. I'm going to add a little bit more depth. Now, because I want to add some more depth, I'm going to pull out the number one go-to in my Dina Wakeley paints, and that is Night. That is the best one. That's the best colour she's ever made, in my opinion. Night is the bomb. All right. So what Night does... Oh, now I want that stencil back. Hang on. Night is going to help with some more depth. Um, just a fraction. It's wet, so I just need to dry it off quickly. Hang on. Jeez, I made that look hard, didn't I? For that one time I decided. No, not yet. Yes, is the answer, actually. Um, okay, so... 
I just want to add a little bit more depth with this and to do that I'm going to line those babies back up again and I should have done this before but the knight's just going to add a little depth in the corner so I've put it on and then polishing it with my fingers pulls it to the edges of the stencil see that just like that polish 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 pushing it around polish 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 whoops polish too much polish way too much <laughs> Reset. Right, there we go. See what that did? How cool is that? I know, I surprise myself every now and again. Line that baby up on this side and do the same thing. Get that colour in there. And then while it's wet, push it around, push it to the edges of the stencil. Yeah? I know, she's a little bit crazy, but she makes a bit of sense every now and again, guys, doesn't she? Hey, there we go. I've run out of paint. Get it on there, push it around with your fingers, polish it, and it takes it to the edge of the stencil and creates a, a little texture that you didn't realise that you needed. All right. Sounds like I've been drinking this morning, but no, I was up at six. Did the live Facebook at 7.30, off to the gym for a PT session at 8.15 till quarter past nine. Started my day early. That I'll, I'll probably crash and burn later, but that's okay. All right. So if you're looking at buying some paints and adding some paints to your collection, um, I highly recommend a little bit of Night. Night is just the bomb diggity. That is just the best. Okay, so let's think about stamping now. So I need to add some texture to my background. Um, I took this one off the shelf uh, and I'm going to use this. This is called Underwater Artist. So I'm going to use this one because it has lots of different things that I can add to it. So it's got this paint splatter going on here and I really, it needs a little bit of texture in the background. So I'm going to use that. Did anyone see where I put my black archival ink pad? Found it, stopped looking. So I wanna use a black archival ink pad because I'm going over acrylic paint and I want it to be solid. I want it to be a nice crisp image over the top of my paint. And because I am working over the top of a shimmer paint, I need it to show up as well. So it's not everywhere, it's just around a few little spots, but that's not too bad. Um, and because I've decided to start my weekend with cleaning my stamps as I go, look at that, done. Um, and I'm going to stamp... You're humming. I'm humming, I'm singing, sorry. Nobody needs to hear that, do they? And, I, and I'm going to add this one next. So this is all off of the sta same stamp set. Yeah, look at that. I like it. Would stays on work the same? Okay, so Bex asked the question, would stays on work the same? Um, 
stays on is my least favorite product ever um stays on recently has been shown to eat away at um, clear stamps like this so these stamps are all oil based so stays on compared to this particular product has a component in it that will eat away it won't eat away at red rubber save it for your red rubber but i don't love stays on uh in fact i threw my stays on ink pad out and just went mm, you know what i'm gonna spend the 12 bucks and buy one of these and a refill simply because i look after my stamps sometimes not all the time sometimes i don't clean them but um i could be wrong they may have changed their formula but previously stays on has been um has a formula in it that eats away at the um the the stamp so um but that was that was a couple of years ago it may have changed so don't take my word for it it's just one of those products that i will not use there's a reason why i use black archival ink because that is the best stuff on the market. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this um, image onto some paper. So I'm gonna use my stamp press because it's a big image and it won't actually fit on my block. So I'm using my stamp press. Um, the other thing, guys, if you have a stamp press and you want some extra magnets, we've got these extra magnets available as well and they are only four bucks yeah. maybe yeah. they're not very much at all um super. and they are like super epic strong so um i do love my stamp press for doing things like this because i suspect that i am not going to nail stamping this image right the first time or <laughs> or i might Bugger, well, I'll be damned. How nice is that? These are so nice to stamp with. These stamps are gorgeous. Oh, that is a excellent quality stamp, if I do say so myself. Right. The paper that I'm using is a Ranger white cotton paper it is um very very nice um do i want to do no too late okay so now that i've got this i just want to color this in so how am i going to color this in i've got no idea i do have i've got the vicky Booten crayons here maybe i'll color it in with those and see if i can use those like watercolors because they happen to be sitting right here next to me. Um, let me get a paintbrush. I'm gonna use my Altenew Superfine paintbrushes. If you want a, a really nice set of paintbrushes to invest in, these are the jam. They are, they are the bee's knees. And I'm just trying to find the fourth one. Nobody said that I've got too many paintbrushes. And if they do, I don't need that sort of negativity in my life. <laughs> All right. So I've just done a little scribble here. I don't know if this is going to work, but they are water-soluble crayons. So let's go with... Yes, that's going to work for me. Um, okay, let's look at my background. Let's look at my mermaid. And I just want to get that on there. I'm going to do some scribbles on here. So the Vicky Booten gel crayons um, are a little bit nice to work with. Just mixing a couple of colours there to get what I want. I could have just coloured straight onto here, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted more of a um, fluid watercolour look. Um,
Go you, stamp expert. Oh, totally, babe. Did you see how I totally nailed that? That, my friend, was the fluke of the year. But yeah, it, having a stamp press, a stamp press makes all of the difference. It takes the guesswork out of stamping. So um, I think we've got them online for about $40, maybe. And I have to say, it is the best investment that... Um, one of the best investments because it, it does take the guesswork out of, of doing it. You want to make sure that it is, that you get it right the first time. Um, okay, so gel crayons are nice, but not good for, oh no, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I just need to spread it around while it's wet and Oh, okay. Because I want something a bit, I was going for something a bit more vibrant. That's what I was after. Because I've got a vibrant background, I really do need to vibrant up the, oh, okay. Vibrant up the, the colour. It was, um, yeah, right. Look at that. You see the vibrant? Sorry, that's me talking with a paintbrush in my mouth. Can you see how vibrant they are? They're pretty good, actually. I have done another art journal page where we uh, with the gel crayons where I scribbled them onto the background, um, and they worked really well. And I haven't used them in this application for, before, so I am winging it, winging it publicly here, which is, as you know, what I tend to either win at or fail at. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Full transparency. There's no point telling you I'm an expert at something if I've never done it before. God, no. Mm, a little blend. Watercolours probably would have been easier because I, um, I know how watercolours work, but like I said, full transparency. Um, okay, so that's that done, that done, that done, and I need to give her a little, a little pink top. So we need to highlight that pink, and I'll do her bow pink as well. But I'm not going to go in with solid pink because it's like full on. So I might just take a little off the mat or a little off of here, and just plant a little foundation. Let's get those boobs coloured there. I'll go that. Pick it up off of there. Colour that there. Um, Rosie, what I'll do, as I always do after every Facebook Live, is I will do a post, of course, showing you the finished page and some close-up photos. And I will put a link in the comments to all of the products that I use. Um, but you will find these paintbrushes under Altenew Accessories. They are nice. And see how you hold your fingers? They're really nice. Oh, growling dog outside. She rolling around on the concrete on her back yeah. with her legs in the air. In the sun. In the sun, because you can. So I'm working quite quickly here. I'm not fluffing around. I'm getting the colour on and then blending it with a slightly wet brush at the same time just to, to move that around. Um, I'm going to add some yellow to it as well. Um, yeah, Rosie, I'm a, I'm a fan of a paintbrush, babe. I love me a good paintbrush. I think that um, if you look after your paintbrushes, they are an excellent investment. No, whoops, that's a lot of yellow. Um, they are an excellent investment. So a couple of tips, and if anyone has watched any of Dina Wakeley's lives, they will know that you don't leave them in water overnight. But she does. Oh, man. All right, now we're getting there. Bit of yellow up there. All right. 
So I don't have a skin tone handy and that's okay, but I have orange for that. So I'm going to... The white mat on my website should be under the tools section. Uh, somebody just asked the question. If you look in tools, I consider it to be a very valuable tool. It's something that I use all the time, so therefore it is a tool. Um, I don't know if we have any left, but there it is. Um, you would get them today because they are not going to be on special, um, Ness, if you were going to ask that question. Yes, I don't, I'm not putting paints on special, babe. There are awesome specials tomorrow, but it is not going to be paints. I can tell you that right now. All right, so what I'm going to do is quickly... Oh, I missed that bit. And I need to cut that out, which you guys totally want to watch me cut out. And I'm going to get a red pen to do her glasses. Um, yes, there is going to be another awesome daily deal tomorrow. But it is not going to be paint. I can tell you that. You are going to love it. But it's not going to be paint, okay? Happy days. Right, let's quickly cut her out. Um, okay, so what else is there? Let me tell you about the no judgment postage again. So don't forget that postage is not free. When you order for the first time, you will need to select $12.50 postage. But the really cool thing is, is you can, if you do another order and you like tomorrow's special, then you will be able to add to your order by selecting the no judgment option then. Okay? So that means that you only pay postage once and then like I showed you this morning in the live Facebook, which you'll have to go back and watch, you will be able to, we'll put all your orders together and start building a bag of awesomeness so that when you when you get your delivery, it's going to be like Christmas because you've forgotten what you ordered. Don't you love that? So that is what the no postage is, uh, no postage, the no judgment is all about. That we don't judge you. You can shop as many times as you like. And we make sure that we just um, put it all together and we look after you guys because that's what friends do. Um... So the, if you ordered yesterday and you bought some fabulous Tim Holtz goodies, um, then you will be able to order today. Just take a second at the checkout to look at the delivery information and go, right, how am I going to, to do the delivery? Um, now, this only qualifies for orders under three kilograms. So if you uh, order 15 journals today, at 15% off because you're, like, you're a total winner with that um, and it comes in over three kilos, then I will get in touch with you and say, hey there, you're an overachiever and we love that, but it's going to be an extra 10 bucks for postage or whatever it might be. All right, so there is a limit to the, um, the no judgment postage because, hey, I mean, I still have to pay for postage. Um, how am I going for time? Oh, kicking it, kicking it, kicking goals. Kicking goals. So I'm coming back today at 1.30 to do another live Facebook. And today at 1.30, I'm going to make a little tag journal, okay? I'm going to show you how to make a little tag journal using the Art by Marlene tags that are available. 
um, or using the Dina Wakeley tags that are available. And we're going to build a little mini album base. Okay, so that'll be fun. You will love that. Love learning something new. Um, all right, so I'm just going to activate that red pen and give her a little bit of a, a lip thing. She's a bit... She's a bit bland, oh there we go, a bit bland in the eye area there. And I need to give her a little blue eye, don't we? Hang on. Blue pen, blue pen for that little detail. That's not a blue pen. You know what, big picture, it's not that important. Let's do the things. Rightio, so she's gonna sit on there. So she's got that pop, she's now popping up off the page. The pieces that I die cut earlier, let's have a look at these guys. Let's get these out of the way. So she's going to sit there-ish. Lid. Here we go. So I pre-cut some flowers. Now this is just on the Soft Ranger paper. I don't know if this was the Ranger one or the Dina Wakeley one or a Tim Holtz one. I can't remember, but it's quite soft and um, flexible. This is the, oops, flicked that too far. Um, hey Louise, can you just, mm -hmm. just push some of those out for me? So rather than people just sitting and watching, you should just be able to flick them out. I love these. They could be clouds. They could be um, in little spotty embellishmenty bits. Oh, you can't even see it. My hands Rainbows. aren't in the camera. Rainbows. They are all sorts of bits and pieces. So we're going to use them today as... I'm just going to use a couple as clouds. Oh, come on. So I cut these in my Gemini machine. So the Gemini machine is the electronic die cutting machine. And that is my go-to. And it cuts perfect almost every time and I like that about it so I could quite easily go down here how did they get a dog in here how is there a dog Macy Ollie get out or not <laughs> they are the worst all right get out of here guys I love that my dogs can open that glass sliding door what the heck all right, there we go. So I might just pop that there, pop that there, pop that at the top as little clouds. Clouds go that way, Natalie. That'll do, Lou. Don't stress yourself. Thanks, babe. Glue. Let's glue that down. You guys are sticking with me. Well done. It's like watching a bit of a train wreck, but we're getting there. So I'm just using my puzzle glue today to stick this down. Um, because it is what is on my desk and is it blocked? Maybe just a little. <laughs> come on, mate. Out you come. There we go. No, it doesn't want to work for me today because I'm under pressure. I'm watching the clock. I know you guys have all got something else to do with your day. So I'm going to go with my Nuvo adhesive, which is plan B, which is the other one that's on my desk. But I love that both of the puzzle glue and the Nuvo have got super little nozzles. Um, so with putting this image down, so this is my focal point. I've created my background. Um, I have built my background through paint, then stencils, then stamps. This is the standard way that I create my pages that we talked about yesterday as well. And now I'm working on my focal point. So my focal point is going to be this girl and she's gonna go right here. And I'm just using glue. It probably could have gone over a little bit different because her tail's hanging over, but let's commit to it. Um, I'm going to whack some of these guys on here as well. Um, so these are just some embellishments. Now I could have, could have coloured these, but I actually quite like them in white because they're going to stand out really nicely. I love a die cut like this that is a multi die. It's going to, it's got lots and lots of different purposes. I can see myself using this on 
lots of other things as well now that I have opened this one off the shelf. I think that it is going to be a really, really good addition to my dies. Um, and I'm going to pop this one up there, up a little higher. Gluey fingers. Um, now, I also cut these flowers out. I think the flowers might be a bit much. They might be a bit bold, taking it away from it. I might save those for the page this afternoon that I'm going to do. Um, or I can add that to the journal, that the mini book that I'm going to add. Um, oh, Tina's having to bring the sheep in and wash the floors. Oh, bless you. That's not something... Could you imagine me chasing sheep around your property? I'm going with no. I'm pretty sure no one needs to see that. It would be pretty funny, though. All right, that's on there. That's on there. I've got a couple of these little loopy things here. Where's the other one? Here. And I'm going to then add... Um, I really need a third one because it's not balanced. But that's okay. I don't have one, so I have to commit to what I do have. And I'm putting this on the easy way by just swiping it through some glue. Mm -hmm. I'm humming again. Sorry, guys. You know what? I'm going to extend that up. I'm going to make that into something else. Right. Nearly done. Nearly done. I need some words. I need a little... Um, I need that down there, definitely. It's coming together. And it doesn't have to be super complicated. An art journal page, we tend to overthink it and we try and compare it to, to someone else's and go, oh my gosh, I have to do it like this. And, I, and it has to be a certain thing. Art journaling is all about how you're feeling right now. It's about creating to make yourself happy. And it's about creating to, um, you know, to relieve a little bit of, you know, mental health stress or or whatever. It, it's not a competition. You're not going to get scored out of 10. Um, if you don't like it, turn the page. Put it down to experience. But it doesn't have to be a masterpiece every single time. It annoys me to no end that I see so many people come back and comment and say, oh my God, Natalie, I would want to be like you. I want to do what you're doing. Oh, honey, no, you don't. Nobody needs to be in my head any longer than necessary. But I create with confidence. I create and go, you know what? This is what it is. This is what I've got in front of me. How often do you see me creating here with a plan? Um, I genuinely have no plan when I create. This isn't just all smoke and mirrors. There's no smoke and mirrors, people. Um, this, is, this is what I... This is how I create all of the time. I don't put my work out on Facebook and Instagram and uh, Pinterest. I've got art journal pages. I've got pages and pages and pages and pages and journals full of things that people haven't seen. And that is the difference because I'm creating it for me. I am not creating it to promote a project. I'm not creating it to... Um, I'm not creating it to get your approval. I'm not creating it to, for any other reason than for on my own happiness. And if there's any other way of saying that, I don't know. Um, Michelle's just commented saying that that's so true. Everyone has their own style and I've made some crappy pages, but I still love the process. We've all made crappy pages. Um, the crappy pages are how we make the great pages because we learn from our mistakes. If you can't see your mistakes, how can you learn from them? You don't have to show the people your mistakes. You just turn the page, okay? Does that make sense? Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just finding my white splash ink. Hang on a sec. I've got some 13 Arts um, acrylic ink. This is awesome 
because it splatters really, really, really well. Um, oh, look, Tina. Tina's just commented saying, I love how you encourage others. Um, look, thank you. But it's just saying the obvious things out loud, isn't it? Um, it's that whole, look, we, we tend to stress over how things look and how important or, or what someone's going to think about it, right? Nobody cares. The, the, the people who have got an opinion, the people who want to tear you down, they, they don't count. They're not people who you need in your life. So why should you take their opinion seriously? Um, does that make sense? So creating in your art journal should make you happy. Okay. Um, I think that's really, really important. All right. So let's splash ink this. Now, when you take it out, it's got this bit here as a dropper. It's not a dropper. It's just an awesome bottle. That's just there for show. Um, I'm looking for, I don't want to use my good paint brushes for this. I want to use my not good paint brushes for this. And I'm going to dip that in. And then I'm going to smoker's tap. So the smoker's tap is a finger tap. It is not a wrist flick. Wrist flicking will create a line. I want to tap my brush. Now, if you can't do that, get your paint on it because it's, it, it's a coordination thing and I'm, I'm not good at some things, but I can do this because I used to be a great smoker. But you can tap like that and that will do it too. I'm not coordinated enough to do that, but I can, I can rock this. And... What, what this is, is a fabulous mix of acrylic paint, so it dries beautifully. Um, a little bit goes a really long way. This bottle will last you forever. Um, reading comments at the same time here. Kayleen, it's your art, own art journal. Damn right it is. Um, art is such a personal expression. Yeah, it is. I don't think we tell others how much we appreciate yeah, bam. Um, you know, and the internet is the worst place for that, isn't it? Um, okay, there we go. You can see that splatter. It's going to sit on top of that paint beautifully. Last thing I need is, a, is some words. Uh, so I'm going to use my Pintor, Pilot Pintor pen. That's a lot. And... Michelle's given me the words already, and I haven't even tested to see if this is going to work, but this is what I love about Pintor. Find. Oh, all of my pens are nearly empty. I think that might be the problem with mine. I have used them to within an inch of their life. Wee. That came out quicker than I wanted it to. Find your tribe all right that needs a little bit more work okay note to self replace pens hmm. this is really really a well used there we go there we go all right done okay we are done girls i'm happy with that i'm going to work on this bit in a minute off camera but you don't need to see that so just to recap what we have done we have gone over we've used my um art by marlene journal we used acrylic paint in the background i had uh, already gessoed a page so i had prepped it with gesso but i used my catalyst tool wherever that's gone. I use my catalyst tool to put the paint on, go up and down like that. Then I stenciled in a couple of different colours using a blending tool. We use the new, a combination of Dina Wakeley paints and the new Shimmer Dilutions paints. We, I stamped some images 
Uh, we did some stamping in the background, put the die cuts on, add some splatter, and bam, we're done. Girls, 15% off today only for Art by Marlene products. Um, I look forward to seeing you all back here at 1.30. All right, guys, jump online, nataliemay.com.au, and don't forget to love your artwork, guys. Seriously, it's not hard. Just, just make pretty things.